welcome to my channel i'm your girl chosen princess today we're going to be doing a q a so you guys get to know a little bit about me and of my life if you see me looking down it's because i have my notes on my phone and i want to continue to do this video without rambling like i usually do i'm a talker and i'm a rambler and sometimes i'm literally all over the place okay <clears throat> i thought i wrote my notes down okay there we go my age i am 27 years old i am turning 28 in october yes i'm the best libra just like everybody else that's in the libra that's amazing and everything has to be about me hence the name chosen princess but no, i was just joking but yes i'm a libra and i'm turning 28 years old I feel like i'm getting old once i turn 20 i'm gonna be two years closer to 30. oh my god can you go through a midlife crisis at 30. lord okay next i am from sunny south florida Woo! where are my south floridians at let me know drop a sun emoji down below let me know and also even if you're not from sunny south florida just let me know where you guys are from and around the world i just would love to know that so we can communicate and talk i would love to meet other people from other destinations my occupation is i am a licensed esthetician i love skincare I obsess about it. I'm an enthusiast. I love beauty. I love all things girly, feminine. That's just what I embody. So me going into the skincare field actually was inspired by my wonderful esthetician who also resides in sunny South Florida in the downtown Fort Lauderdale area, almost close to the beach but she was working on my skin and i'm going to show you guys what my skin looks like without makeup it's not perfect because i am of a darker complexion and i do get hyperpigmentation where my skin gets darkened because i am acne prone so anytime i break out i have a cut a bruise whatever my melanocytes are rapidly working <laughs> so a lot of the things that I put on my skin kind of balances those mel melanocytes because when they want to heal a wound or anything they just come in abundance we love melanin don't get me wrong but it will leave those little pesky dark marks that doesn't give us that even canvas that we so much love so yes Simone shout out to you girl she inspired me to be an esthetician she does great work I was so moved by like her passion, her dedication, her knowledge by what she does and how she helps a lot of women and men of diverse backgrounds. And I look up to her, she's a mentor to me. And so she inspired me to get on this journey. I went to school, got my license and I love it. I can remember from being a young girl, always being into like beauty and wanting to wear makeup at 12 and getting a chemical peel i had to tell you guys about that story in high school that was something crazy but all of the stuff that i was doing at such a young age a lot of my peers were like girl what are you doing like what 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 is going on with you i've just been like that my whole life so yes i'm a licensed esthetician and i'm working on becoming a medical esthetician that's taking it to the next level which will be making me a master of what I do so yes that's my occupation <clears throat> my favorite pastimes okay so I love playing tennis I've actually gotten back into playing tennis recently so I'm a little dusty because I played when I was little but then I stopped for like 10 years so it's sort of like riding a bike but as I get out there more I'm brushing up on my skills and things are actually coming back to me and I'm like oh like as I'm hitting the ball I'm like that's how I used to do it when I was younger so then I'm just like yes I'm getting into it still rusty 
but I will be back on the level that I was when I was young. You know, I'm not as young as I was, so my energy is not there. But with training and dedication, I'll be back on it. So I love tennis. I love shopping, of course, like most women do. I love spending time with my family, my close circle of friends. I love going to the beach, exercising, reading. Come on, guys. Reading is essential. That I love to do. Broadening my knowledge and expanding my horizons. I love to do that. And before COVID, it was traveling. Please, please, Lord. We want to open these borders so we can go back and travel again. I have a bucket list of places that I want to go. So, with that being said, traveling. I miss traveling. I, I want to travel now. Even though we can't, that is one of my favorite of all time pastimes. And we're back, beautiful people. So, my goals and aspirations for this channel is to relate to the everyday person that's just like me, who's on this life journey trying to figure it out day by day. We have our highs, we have our lows. I just want to build a community of people that I can reach out to and eventually meet some of you guys around the world and connect and share my story, share my life with you and hope to make an impact. Yes, that's the word, an impact on someone's life. Be a blessing to somebody. Just connect on a deeper level and have like a new circle of friends. We gotta come up with cool names. I was thinking either chosen ones or chosens. I may use those interchangeably or just friends work, but being on YouTube is definitely a jump and a leap for me out of my comfort zone. But I know there are so many people out there like me who may have my story or may have a different story, but our differences unite us and they make us unique. So. That is my goal for this channel. I'm so looking forward to it. Doesn't matter if it's 100,000 people, 50 people, everybody that subscribes, reach out to me, you matter. You're my friend. And I want this to be like a family, like a community. I want us to grow, to build, give each other advice. You can give me suggestions. We can feed off of each other's energy, yes. Good energy, positive energy. That's all we want, baby, for 2020 and beyond. So that's that's pretty much my goals and my aspirations for this channel. Okay. Okay, so I'm quirky. I'm so random. <laughs> I can be a little awkward at times, like especially when it comes to small talk with people. I just kind of like zone out or I don't know what to say. I don't do small talk well. I'm a random twerker, okay? I know it sounds crazy, but literally a song will come to my head. It doesn't matter where I'm at. I could be in the house. Obviously not in public with a lot of people because you don't want to draw that kind of attention to yourself. But I'll just be hearing it and I'll just be moving and I'll just be getting to a dance. Like, that's just me. I'm just so quirky and random. And I go hard for my family and my friends, the people that I love. I'm an over lover. Like if I love you, like I love you. And I have this thing where I expect you to love me as hard as I love you. And I've been constantly trying to tell myself like, okay girl, everybody's not gonna go as hard for you as you go for them. And I get that. Cause it's rare to find people like that. So the people that I connect with don't may not go as hard or some of them do but i'll understand just go hard enough where i can feel it not like oh i'm always reaching out i'm always doing this for you you know what i'm saying i'm always giving 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 and i'm not getting in return like let's balance each other out with our relationship and our friendship that's how i am as a person i'm super loyal that's that libra in me i'm loyal I mean, loyal to some people, baby, that don't deserve my loyalty. I had to break out of that as well and let those people go. So that was a learning lesson. I had to move on in life and leave those people in my past. But that's just how loyal I am. 
I just like once I'm in, I'm in. Once I'm your friend, I'm your friend. Unless you burn me so many times or there's so many red flags that I can't help but to just pick my little emotions up and just move on. I'm a writer, I go hard, and I love even harder. So yes, just know all of you guys when we connect and I feel it like I really feel it I have that empatheticness going on within me I don't know I probably made that word up but you get what I'm saying I have that so it's like I feel energy I feel I just have a deeper connection to my intuition and so a lot of things don't go past me and I've learned that I have to stop giving everybody the benefit of the doubt it's the funny thing about life Ain't it? With life, you just have to keep learning. But you know what? A wise person learns and does not keep making the mistakes. A wise person learns and stops giving people the benefit of the doubt who don't deserve it. That's what a wise person does. So every day, I pray to God. I pray for more wisdom and understanding. Yes, you could be forgiving. Yes, you could be loving. You could be all those amazing things. But you still have to love yourself enough to walk away from people situations friends whoever who do not serve you as in serve a purpose in your life like how you serve a purpose in their life you don't want to be somebody who's just a filler a space filler in someone's life or somebody that's being used and walked all over because of your good heart and a lot of us who got that good heart baby mm, won't people do that to you just take that heart and just stomp on it but we are just moving past that day by day and understanding that there are better people out there not everybody is the same and that's something I had to learn too not everybody's gonna hurt you not everybody you have to have your guard up with yes be smart be on your toes and be ten steps ahead but don't always go into a situation like oh I got played by this person so I know this person's gonna play me oh I got betrayed by this person so I know that no we don't want to go in with that lack mindset because that lack mindset will hold us back come on Jules come on come on <laughs> come on somebody I want to hear an amen if you know what I'm talking about but for real all jokes aside that's just me in a nutshell and I would love to hear from you guys I want you to please please drop a comment let me know give me feedback on quality everything that this video is bringing out just let me know i love opinions everybody has them and i will take corrective criticism i will take corrective instructions like i just want to know let's just grow together and tell me some things that you guys would like to see some things you want to talk about you want to have a girls powwow life story anything I'm here for it. I'm new to this platform and I'm just ready to enjoy it and meet new people and build a community of like-minded individuals. Take care. Be blessed. Love you guys.